with a complex bill. Senator Joyal, avant qu'on débute nos travaux, est-ce que vous me permettez que je... Before we begin, might I have the floor, Mr. Chairman? Yes, go ahead, Senator Boivnu, Vice Chair of the Committee. Forgive me, colleagues. I would like to table, if all members of the committee are agreeable to this, a motion. So that Bill C-367 be studied as soon as we have finished with C-75. For those who are uh, listening to us in their uh, living rooms, th this bill is a bill that was carried by the House close to two years ago. It's been sitting in the Senate since. This is a bill uh, that uh, uh, targets the training of judges to make them aware of the issues surrounding sexual assault against women. We know that this is an issue that has been in the high headlines for years, several years, in the Canadian Armed Forces and in the civilian context. And Bill 367, that was sponsored in the other place by Ms. Ambrose, is a bill that we did our utmost to, uh, to fit it into our legislative program, but the very tight de de deadlines did not allow us to move forward with this. And Our fear is that with our busy schedule between now and the end of this session, uh, this uh, uh, bill might uh, fall by the wayside. So I will table a motion, Mr. Chairman, asking that uh, the Standing Senate Committee on Legal and Constitutional Affairs give priority, as soon as we're finished with C-75, uh, to uh, undertaking our study of Bill C-367, which won't require, I'll say this at the outset, uh, which won't require very much work, given the participants. Thank you for your proposal. Senator, the only information that I would like to share with honorable senators is that we also obviously have a director from the Senate to report on the provisions of C-97, the Budget Implementation Bill, before June 4th. So we will have to take into account uh, the obligations uh, that we have with regard to dealing with this uh, bill between when we finish our study of C-75 and that deadline of June 4th to report on the two budgetary items that were referred to this committee by the Senate. So that honorable senators understand, of course, that uh, this is also a commitment of this committee to honor the instruction that we receive from the chamber. But, Madame la Senator Dupuis, s'il vous plaît. Monsieur le Président, merci. Senator Dupuis, thank you, Mr. Chairman. Also, with regard to additional information, I would like to underscore the fact that we'd agreed at the steering committee that we would proceed with this because the budget bill requires uh, that we provide a very uh, detailed report very quickly to Senate to the Senate with regard to C97 we even chose witnesses so we were to move to this immediately after C75 another question for today Senator Boivnu, your motion might we consider it once we're done with C75 in other words there's nothing urgent that requires that we set aside uh, the invitations made to everyone in order for us to uh, postpone the study uh, or stall the study that we undertook some time ago, the study of C-75. So I'm suggesting that we come back to your motion as soon as we've dealt with C-75. Mr. Chairman, we have a few sessions planned for our study of C-75. There are countless amendments. We have an awful lot of amendments, so we risk not being able to finish up today. And I would like us to inf be able to inform the Senate of our decision uh, to give priority to 367 once we're done with C-75. If I understand correctly, what that means is that in, every ev in any event, if we're very concerned, well, might you tell us how many amendments the Conservatives have for C-75? I would say a few dozen, a few dozen. So it's more around 50 or more around 75. It depends how things evolve. I have a few pertaining to the same issues. If uh, we are able to uh, agree to one amendment, uh, we might resolve uh, the fate of 10 at once. You're talking about today. 
So we invited guests here, and we could deal with that at the end of this meeting. Well, let's say between 30 and 50. So might we deal with your motion after today's meeting? I would prefer that we debate it immediately so that we do come to a decision right away. I would like us to decide on this now, whether or not we decide at the end of today's meeting or Thursdays. Uh, well, I would like to know if we're dealing with this right away. I don't want to see us prolong the debate. It's a debate that goes back to December of last year, that bill. And you're fully aware of the situation. We discussed this fully. We're now in May. We're, we'll be in June, a week from now, so I don't want to see this bill fall by the wayside. Senator Buevni, you'll remember that we have discussed C-367 for several months. Even at the steering committee, we agreed to move forward with it more quickly, following upon your request. And then, at your request, it was postponed. And now you're coming back yet again today with a new request. I'm saying that we have C-75 that's slated here on our agenda. So why can't we deal with this at 6.15 rather than at uh, 3.29 p.m. today. I'm not going to contradict you, but we were prepared to deal with this at the end of December, this bill. The priorities of the government were such that we set this bill aside. We were to study it coming back at the end of January. Unfortunately, we came back uh, mid-February because of the delays we all are familiar with. But never did I willfully postpone the study of 367. If uh, the steering committee had prioritized this bill before all of the others, I would have been unconditionally on board. Senator Sinclair. Senator Dalfon, it's first going to be Senator Dalfon, then Senator Sinclair. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I wanted to tell Senator Buenu that we are in agreement with making arrangements to deal with 367 as quickly as possible. I think that it's an important piece of legislation. However, I agree with Senator Dupree. Uh, I agree with her that we should uh, deal right away with C-75 and vote on the motion later. Several amendments have been uh, tabled from our side, and I believe that 30 to 50 have been announced from your side, so I think we should deal with 375 before we deal with C-367. And perhaps we'll have to plan additional meetings, uh, extended sittings, etc. To my mind, it's premature, and I do have a concern with regard to C-78, which is in the lineup as well. It's the Divorce Act. It's a major reform, the first major reform in the last 20, maybe 30 years. So I would like us to deal with this as a whole before voting on the motion. I would like to see what the framework is. You've brought up another element, C-78. So we're going to have C-367 mid-June. So I'm asking for the vote, Mr. Chairman. Senator Buevnu has asked for the vote. On a point of order, Mr. Chairman, what exactly is the motion? What is the text of the motion, please, that we're voting on? It's a, an oral motion, yes, but what... Does it say well that the committee study Bill C-367 once we've completed our consideration of Bill C-75? I think that was the uh, intent of the motion. That was my understanding of it. Before the vote, I have two senators, Senator Batters and Senator Sinclair. Senator Batters, to begin. I just wanted to voice my support for this particular um, motion of Senator Boisvenu's. We have had this particular bill, and actually, I think the translation has been coming through that it's 367, it, the appropriate number is 337, just wanted to make sure that it was clear for the record, um, exactly which bill we're speaking about, and we have had this bill in the Senate for two years, and in front of this particular committee for a year, and uh, in I think many of us thought that we might get to this bill in the last few months, but because of the length of time that uh, bill C-58 took, including six clause-by-clause -clause meetings, 16 hours of clause-by-clause. -clause. Um, we weren't able to fit in that particular bill before um, having to go on to C-75. So I think that this bill, I don't think, would take a great deal of time. It's certainly a very important bill. Many of us have seen the effects of 
what happens when that type of a bill is not in effect in the courtrooms in Canada. And we want to make sure that we um, can do our best to both uh, provide the necessary education and to protect victims. So I'm certainly supportive of this bill going forward as soon as possible and having this dealt with. Uh, many Canadians are very concerned about this and we want to make sure that we don't run out of time to deal with it. Thank you. Thank you. Senator Sinclair. Uh, Mr. Chair, uh, thank you. Uh, if it is in order, I would like to move that we adjourn the consideration of Senator Boivinu's motion to, until after consideration of C-75 has been completed. Well, Senator Boivinu uh, uh, has already called a vote on his motion. So I have Senator Gold and after that I will proceed with the vote. And after that, we will come back to uh, to your proposal, no. Senator Sinclair. Senator Gold. <clears throat> Thank you, Chair. Look, I also think it's an important bill, and I know it's been here for a long time, but I think we have obligations that we, to the Senate, and I agree that we should not be looking at this in isolation from all the other bills that are, that are on our plate. I do note as well that um, many committees... Uh, will have to find extra time, including time to sit as we are now, while the Senate is still sitting. And um, I would encourage all groups and caucuses to approach their leadership to get permission for us to sit on those additional hours to make sure that we would have the time to add this to our already very heavy workload. But it's irresponsible for us to change uh, direction and prior priorities at this time. I'm going to vote against this motion. Thank you. Thank you. So the vote is called on the motion of uh, Senator Boisvenu that the consideration or study of Bill C-337 be on the agenda of the committee immediately after the committee has completed its clause-by-clause -clause consideration of Bill C-75. All those in favor of the proposal, please raise your hand. All those opposed? Motion is defeated. Well, Senator Sinclair, you're now in position to make your proposal. Um, well, if the motion is defeated, then it's been dealt with. I'm, I'm not, uh, my motion was to adjourn his consideration of his debate, so you know, no longer need to make Just that motion. Just to the Honorable uh, Senators to resolve uh, the, the issue, and I, the, you know, I understand the interest there is. Uh, I suggest that we, uh, the members of the steering committee, Madame Senator Dupuis, and of course Vice Chair, Monsieur Senator Boivnu, Vice President, and the chair meet after we have completed our discussion today and seek a way to address the wish of Senator Boisvenu as it is contained in his original proposal and to find a time on the slot of the committee with, of course, the other Bill C-97 that we have to report. We are under an instruction of the, of the chamber and we can't ignore it either. So we'll see how we could juggle those two objectives of dealing with C-37 and C-97 in due time for C-97, of course, and 37 immediately. Yes. Oui, Senator Pratt. Je veux bien préciser à la suite du vote. Following on the vote, I and my colleagues, I'm certain, are convinced of the importance of Bill C-37. Three three seven. Several of us worked very hard with Ms. Ambrose, the sponsor of the bill, to come to some form of agreement. So I'm pushing in the same direction in order for the steering committee to find a date uh, for us to work on this bill and ensure that it will be carried, be dealt with before the end of the session. This is why I suggested that we have a meeting to deal with uh, our schedule of work so that we do uh, deal with this bill. Bye, close